Maka's guides. <laughs> Hey everyone, Maka here, playing Gears 5. This is the Hive Busters DLC, which is a story expansion that is also available with Xbox Game Pass. And in this video, I'm gonna show you all 23 of the collectibles and all 12 of the ability upgrades during this three to four hour campaign. In the bottom right corner, you can obviously track which chapter we're doing and which collectible we're grabbing. Starting off with chapter one, as soon as you reach the pilot, Underneath, you can find their dog tags. A little bit later on, you will reach this bridge and drop down a small ledge. To the right in the distance, you can see the downed condor. And next to that, you can find a collectible near the stump of this tree, which can be pretty tricky. Once you reach the actual crash site, Walk forward and what we'll want to do is there will be a small fork in the road and stick to the right hand side. This will take you up a small hill and around a small loop. You can pick up a couple of pretty good weapons here including the M bar, but at the end of this dead end you will find a coin on the ground which is our collectible. Last but not least, you will reach this area just after the crash site with a beautiful vista in front of you. This, by the way, is one of the best graphical games on the Xbox Series X. But just after that, you can turn down to the right, run down the hill a little bit, and on the right-hand side, you will find the collectible, the Onyx Guard Helmet. We then start off with chapter two, which has seven collectibles and four abilities to grab. As soon as you open the large door, you can run on through and directly in front of you in the middle of the room, you can find your first ability. It will automatically be attributed to a actual ability. You don't get to spend these like ability points. They're just going to be pretty much automatic and they can benefit different characters in different ways. In this same room, we can find our first collectible by turning to the right hand side. There is a small little side area here that is very optional and easily missable if you're not, you know, looking at every corner. You can find a bunch of weapons, a bunch of ammo here, but on the ground there is also a collectible note, which we'll want to grab before moving on. Then a little bit later on, you will open up a large door. You will fight a bunch of enemies here and come down this ramp. There will be these two large kind of mixers in the room. And if you look to the left hand side, there is an open room. If you come inside and go to the back, there is a locker and inside you can find a note. So make sure you pick that up. Then from that collectible, what we want to do is move towards the objective. And here you can get Mac to interact with a small panel on the wall, which will open up a couple of doors. So once you go up to it and begin interacting with it, you can now head back to where we came from and the locked door will now be interactable. So if you go up to it and click on the panel, the door will open. Now we will grant ourselves access to a new room and inside in the far corner, we can find an ability upgrade. After that ability upgrade, we're going to turn around and head back to where we came from. We're going to go into another door that was just opened by the panel. So as we come down the ramp, head to the left. There is a door on the right. Interact with the keypad to open it up and find the collectible inside on the table once you hook around to the right. Just after the previous collectible, you will reach a large drill room, drop down the small ledge in front of you and head to the left. Find another panel here, which we can interact with. Depending on the character, we can either do it ourselves or have Mac do it on him on his own. Once the door does open, which I'll skip forward, there will be some enemies inside, which I've taken care of. But now you can go inside and go to the far left corner and sitting on a small little crate, you can find a collectible.
Now, just after the previous collectible, after that kind of drill room, we will have an elevator shaft as our main objective in front of us. But before we go down it, make sure you grab the ability upgrade on the left hand side of the room, and then we can slide down that elevator shaft. After taking the elevator shaft down, you will reach this room with a bunch of enemies, which I've obviously taken care of. Now we can walk towards our main objective, but before we drop down a small ladder, make sure you enter this side room where there is a control panel and a collectible on top. You will then reach this cryo room with a bunch of little like freezing pods and you can actually get a cryo cannon. Take care of all of the enemies so that you don't have to worry about any of that stuff and eventually the room will kind of either turn off or turn on, I'm not even really sure. But the door on the left hand side will be open and before leaving this area make sure you go into this room at the far end in the left corner, find the collectible. Our last ability available in chapter two is nearby. So just after this large cryo room, head towards the objective, which will take you through this door. And if you just stare at the ground as you walk forward and look a little bit to the right next to all of these crates here, you should be able to find the ability on the ground. And now our final collectible for chapter two. As you open up a door, you'll notice this very obvious structure in front of you. Head right to finish the level and head left to grab this collectible, which is kind of a poster on the wall. This one can be pretty easy to miss because as soon as you walk forward, you'll end up in chapter three. There are no collectibles or abilities in chapter three, so we're gonna go right ahead and skip to chapter four. So for chapter four, it's a lot of storytelling, at least at the very beginning. And we'll start by reaching this plaza with music in a hall on the other side of the area, which is our objective. But as we come in, go up the stairs to your right and into this side kind of structure, there's a bunch of bones inside and on the table, we can find a collectible. What we'll then want to do is head back towards that kind of middle area where we entered into and head down the stairs forward and there will be a so small side pocket room with an ability inside. And once we get into that room, it should be pretty obvious on the ground. So we'll make sure to pick it up. Now from that central spot where we kind of started, you can also go to the left and this is the actual path for the mission. As you head through this door, there will be a second door you can head through on the left of the room and one on the right. We'll skip the one on the right for now and head through to the left onto this kind of small balcony area out back. And on the table, we can find a mask collectible. So pick that up. Then continuing on from this mask, Head through the door towards our main objective. I've already opened it up, but if you head down the stairs in front of you, turn to your left and then keep to your left and head into the door, the first door on your left. Open up that door. This will be a pretty much empty room with an ability upgrade available in the middle, which we'll pick up. There's a lot of upgrades here back to back to back without really much going on in between for a little bit here. Then after this ability upgrade point, we'll head back to where we came from and continue along the path we were going, hugging the left hand side. There aren't really many turns or ways to go wrong here, so just continue along the path. Ignore that door, you'll head underneath a large tree arch, and then there is a room to the left before the Great Hall. In this room on the desk in the middle, yet another collectible. You will then reach the Great Hall and head inside and be surprised that no one is actually in it. And before going up and interacting with the main object here for progression, go to the right hand side of the room. You'll be walking very, very slowly and pick up the ability upgrade here before moving on. A little bit later on in the mission, after taking care of quite a few enemies, 
you'll reach this area where you have to turn left to reach the temple. Instead of going into the temple, go to the right hand side past the impaled pouncer and there is a small area out back. There's nothing really here other than a very important ability upgrade. So just after the last upgrade ability, you will enter through these doors and directly in front of you on a table slightly to your left, there will be a canoe which we'll want to pick up. We will then almost reach the temple as a part of the main storyline, as you can see here. And before we go through the main doors, there should be a very obvious ability upgrade, the last one for this chapter, sitting on the left-hand side on a small ledge. Up, After going through the temple doors, there will be a small little cutscene before you gain control of your character right here. There will be a large volcano in the distance to your left as well. But if you head down the stairs and take the right-hand side path, at the far end on the ledge, you can find a bone. The last collectible in this chapter can be found after you break through a door and there will be a very obvious silverback directly in front of you to your left, which is a part of the actual story. And instead, you can also grab all of the ammo on the table next to it, but there is also a collectible on the other table, so pick that up. We will then move on to chapter five, which only has one collectible. So there's a lot of gameplay in between the last collectible and this, and then between this collectible and the next one. But pretty much as soon as you come outside, you will walk down a small hill, stick to the right hand side and look down at the ground to find this collectible, which is pretty sneaky as it just looks like ammo. Then we have chapter six, our final chapter of this DLC. The first collectible is located pretty early on after interacting with the spiritual well. You'll get a, an achievement for progress and then directly next to it before moving forward, grab the collectible. Shortly after the previous collectible, you'll reach a room with a large structure of sorts in the middle. You can interact with that if you want some backstory. But if you walk forward and go to the first room on the left, Inside here, you can find collectible number two out of five. And in the room right next to this collectible, there's a small little pocket here. You can also grab the ability. So obviously you wanna grab that. Next, you'll reach this beautiful scenery. And to progress, you would be turning right and heading down the path. But instead, before you do that, just head straight forward directly in front of you. There is a small set of stairs that lead to nothing, but there is an ability upgrade. You will then reach this even more beautiful scenery with a large tree off in the distance. And from here, what we can do is start running down the stairs and running forward. You'll reach this small little tunnel. There will be a mace to your left, which you can pick up if you want, but it's not my favorite weapon. Directly in front of you as you enter this larger area, there is our final ability in this DLC. You will unlock an achievement if you've been following along. But before you leave this room, make sure you find this very tricky ax stuck into a small tree branch that is poking on through the wall, you should now be at 91.3%. You will then fight up to this large ship, and as you enter, you will be attacked again. I have taken care of that, obviously. But as you enter, don't go left towards the objective. Instead, go right. Look into this bin in order to find a floppy disk of sorts. I thought this game was supposed to be set in the future. Anyways, the last collectible in the game in Chapter 6 you will come through a couple of tree branch vines. You will follow the path past a small engine underneath a kind of small uh, bridge. Drop down and instead of going left, go right. There's nothing here but a collectible. Grab this and hopefully unlock your final achievement in terms of collectibles and upgrades. There's a little bit more story to go. Feel free to do that. 
Thank you so much for watching. If this video was helpful, don't forget to drop a like, share this video with a friend, and a super special thank you to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show. I'll see you soon. Peace.